This is our Skills Academy for 2019. We've got grades three through seven, and we really wanted to focus on the decision-making aspect. Of course, we got the regular skills, ball handling, passing, shooting, but we want to do everything very game-like, and we wanted to get those skills applied to game situations as quick as possible. Every day we wanted to start with a basketball movement warm-up. We wanted to include the five major movements in basketball. That would be the lunge. See the reverse lunge walk here. We also did those forward. We're into a defensive slide. Everybody's got a ball in their hand. Increases the buy-in, even when we're doing defensive slides. We've got a ball in our hand. We also pivoted. Here we're working on jumping and landing, jumping off the right foot and the left foot and what we call a power skip. From there, we're right into some down and back ball handling with hockey stops. Really try to emphasis, emphasize that stop and start, finish with a jump stop at the end. Ball's in your left hand, you want a hockey stop on the left foot. Ball's in the right hand, hockey stop on the right foot. Put on the brakes at the end. Then we were into Stationary ball handling, emphasis on pound that ball hard, pound nails into the court, get a feel for that basketball early on, still kind of getting loose in, a, in an athletic position, warming up the legs, going small dribbles around the right foot, left foot, left hand, a little bit of crossover, some between the legs, just in place. But we want to quickly put in some decision making. So we call this the kill the grass drill. Borrow this from Chris Oliver. Got a ball and a partner handling in place. Have your partner circling around you. Partner, partner's counting down from five. When he calls for the ball, you have to give him the ball quickly as possible. So there's a decision making with the ball handling. To take you to the next level, now we're putting defense in the drill. Group of three, the defender on you, partner still circling around, counts down from five, calls for the ball, have to deliver it, this time with defense on while you're handling the basketball. Research shows with defense, practicing the skill, you're going to get the best translation to game time. From here, we're going into our shooting. Um, we believe that good shooters start close to the basket. We're, we're really emphasizing the release, the follow through, the basketball coming off of one finger. Consistent release, ball comes off the same finger every time. We're shooting the ball straight, holding the follow through. And then we're into catch and shoot. Hands and feet ready, one, two step or a hop step into the catch and shoot. Put a name on the pass to make this drill a little bit better. All right, we're at about 15 feet with these guys. We wanna see a bunch of shots go in early on when we get into the gym. Now we're into our catch and put the ball on the ground. This is a quick and move. Wanna catch, get that ball on the ground as quickly as possible. This is a two foot stride stop finish. We like the two foot finish because we get fouled more, we finish more with two, with, by finishing off of two feet. The next move is going to be a jump stop and step through finish. We like this move to let a defender fly by or step through two defenders at the rim. We'll also add a jump stop or a stride stop back pivot, short jump shot move. And the counter to that would be a back pivot up and under finish. Once again, we wanna add defense to the drill as quickly as possible. So now we're into a contested finishes. In this round, the defense is going to either jump right or left, and it's up to the offense to read that defense, drive opposite the jump, and finish at the rim. So now we're put defense with our finishes, makes them much more game-like. Also the decision making of, do I drive it right or left based on where the defense goes? And here's the recap of our first 20 minutes or so of the skill session, working on ball handling, shooting and finishing at the rim. Now let's check out some stations. Our first station is gonna be a drive and kick station. We start out three, three on O, working on driving the ball to the rim and playing off the drive. Our rules are drive right, 
move right, drive left, move left. Everybody's moving on the drive. We quickly progress to three on three to put the defense in and the decision making of do I finish at the rim? Have I drawn two defenders? Do I need to kick to an open teammate? Right, check the ball up. And the rule is you've got to get in a big gap to initiate the offense. Drive it, kick it, knock it down. All right, start with the initial drive. Make a decision, patient pivot, space. Next drill is going to be the blood series. We start out two on two. In the blood series, we start the defense behind the ball handler, forces the ball handler to go downhill into a set defense and make decisions. Borrowed this from Vance Wahlberg dribble drive series. Also have a three on three version of it. Driving the ball, have an offensive player in the dunker spot, have an offensive player in the corner. You can start from the top. We like to start from the wing. We think a lot of our drives happen from the wing. All right, when the defense steps up, drop it to the open man on the weak side for a layup. Now when the third, when the third player comes in, now you have the help the help defender, and you've got to make decisions. There we finished. We like to play make it, take it, reward the offense for making a great decision. Our principle of drive left, move left gives us our loop under from the dunker spot. That one again, drive left, move left, loop under, get a layup on the weak side, get lost behind the defense. I'll just show you one more rep here of the three on three blood series. Read the close out, drive it, finish at the rim. Now we're into our one on one series. This first one's called loose ball one on one. Two guys are coming out, whoever grabs the ball is on offense. If you don't get the ball, you're on defense, and we're just working on playing one-on-one -on -one for random positions on the court. We feel this drill is very game-like, simulates the randomness of a game. Again, we want our, all of our players to be able to read situations, make quick decisions, and most importantly, score the basketball. Play, the, play it through the rebound, make it game-like. Another version of this is going to be around the chair one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going first, offense is going second. Here we're going to simulate defense waiting for us at the rim or that help defender stepping up after we've blown by our man. Last station for this video is going to be close out three on three. We want to be a positionless basketball program. We want to be great at passing, cutting, and spacing. And in that, we've got to generate a lot of long closeouts, and we've got to have guys who can read long closeouts, blow by their man, get in the paint, make great decisions, knock down open shots, generate a lot of catch and shoot shots. I feel like this drill puts all those things together in one. Very game-like, a lot of game-like decisions going on. As we finish this out here, hope everybody enjoyed the video. Hope they found it useful. Uh, we want to continue to put out content for basketball coaches and players. We'd love to have everybody subscribe to Sestaro Basketball. And uh, we'll try to keep more videos like this coming. Try to share with you guys what we've learned over the years and uh, what we think is best practice in making coaches and players better.